What I'm doing now is using this extremely fine, it's basically a finishing cloth, just to smooth over the paint I've sprayed on, just to take all the roughness off it. I'm quite happy with this at the moment. I've done the same with the emerged light panel. I had this masked off, I've sprayed it, the picture's uh, coming up just now. And now I'm rubbing it down, having removed the masking tape. I'm going to spray all of this now in clear lacquer. And when that dries, it will put a sheen to it all. One of the problems I had, I didn't have any gloss paint. So I actually sprayed this satin, the black bit, and it's not shiny enough. But the lacquer will dry with a very nice shine. And here we are, back at the painting table again. It's all been rubbed down. It's now ready to have the lacquer sprayed over it. That's uh, the first coat, leave it to dry now. Then I'll turn this over and spray the other side of this, the tricorder body, but the uh, hatch or panel and the emergency panel, I will not do the reverse side of it because you're never going to see it. It's all covered up and it doesn't really matter what's on the back of this one. Uh, that's it. That's all I can do at the moment. We'll come back later when it's dry. So the body's all painted, filled in, primed, rubbed down, painted. All the masking tape I put on to protect the circuit boards has been removed. Um, the masking tape on the tape ends has been removed. And I've tested that everything still functions as it should. So there's been no solder come loose or anything like that during the painting process. Let's get on with the next phase. Now I'm going to install the main circuit board into the body. Again, I believe the best way of doing this is to hook it up to a power source. If you've got a power supply, it's brilliant. If you don't, hook it up to a battery. Because it's much easier to align over the holes as you look at it from this side, if you can actually see the lights. So in preparation for this, all the wires that are in here at the moment have been pushed out of the side. So I've got a nice clear area here. I've also trimmed any hot glue that was running along the bottom edge of this front circuit board. And that makes sure nothing's in the way when I place this. Now this is a two-stage operation. The first thing is to get this top part of the board lined up with the holes across here. And even though the main board won't be aligned, it doesn't matter because it's flexible enough because of the wire connection to adjust it. So I've got it hooked up to a power supply. It's not switched on yet and I'm just positioning it inside the body. Now I'm concentrating on this board first. So let's switch on. And as you can see they're not aligned. It's not aligned. So I have to maneuver it. Okay that's not bad. It's not quite right, it just needs to go up a bit so this that's end. Perfectly aligned. I'm holding it with my finger. Make sure it doesn't move and apply hot glue to lock it in place. So I've tacked down this board here, knowing that the LEDs are perfect alignment across here. Hot glue 
making sure no wires are trapped. And I can get out all the wires I need to. I'm just going to run some hot glue across the top to join the two boards together. <laughs> Right, so I'll turn it on again just to show you this power LED on the end of the wire. And what I have to do is align it uh, on the back of this hole and then hot glue it in place. And I found the best way to do that is with a pair of tweezers. But again, it's not something I can easily do with the camera in the way, so I'm going to set that all up now. So I'm working on the assumption that if these LEDs are in line, these three yellow are over the holes, and the green LEDs are over the holes and in line, then the main view screen LEDs will all be in the correct place. So what I'm doing, I'm tacking the board, just tacking so I can release it if I'm wrong, into place. That's now set. But you should be able to get an idea of whether we've got it right. So let's see. Power goes there. I line up on the power on those greens. The yellows are pretty good. This is pretty good. There we go. This is scanning down the body decal. This is rotating around these four. Let's go in this way. And these other lights are all in alignment. <coughs> so that board is good in that position. So the board's good, we don't need those on anymore. We can now finish securing the board. Do not put any hot glue here at this point. This is where we are going to put the reed switch for the on off power. I'm going to hot glue down there, so that board is in place. I'm going to come this side and I'm going to run the glue all the way along that seam there. Excellent. Uh -oh. It's got to come out to one that in there. Now as you can see you've got lots of little wires, we'll, we'll deal with all of those a bit later. But that's the board installed, the main boards are all installed there. Thanks for watching. It's continued in the next video.